Holy Ghost Hallelujah. and fire. So he said, after that, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Yeah. So you shall be a witness of me. You cannot be a witness without the Holy Ghost and fire. So I asked one and eight, he said, you shall receive power. So I'm talking about being endowed with the Holy Ghost tonight. Yeah. Heaven is open for business. No matter that so many places are closed. It's okay, people of God. Heaven is open yeah. for business. Yeah. And it's the business of the Holy Ghost. Is anyone here in the uh, How do you get what you need out of heaven? And everywhere is closed. Oh, you need a ghost. If you are going to get what you need uh, and every store is closed uh, and every, am I talking? Yeah. Every bank is closed. Uh, come, on. Eat, uh, come on, somebody. Hey. You need a ghost. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, prophet. Mighty God. Huh? Somebody said, I need a ghost. I need a ghost. Not just any old ghost. Not just any old ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. I I need the Holy Ghost. Need the Holy so Ghost. listen what he said. This is how you get the Holy Ghost now. He said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. So there is a Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost can come within you. But now, he, Jesus is first telling the people, if you wait and wait in my presence, yeah. if you learn how to pray, if you learn how to worship, yeah. the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. I'm going somewhere tonight. I'm going somewhere tonight. Somebody better knock somebody and tell them we're going somewhere in the name of Jesus. You better find someone in your contact with and tell them Holy Ghost is moving tonight. Holy Ghost is moving. Holy Ghost is moving tonight. I'm going somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'm going somewhere. Go ahead, I pray in the name of Jesus. All my students are tuning in tonight. But if you ain't, then you out of luck. But those of you that are here, I need you to find three people that you can first of all send this link out to. And then press corner. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up on your app, on your on your social media, on your YouTube, on your Facebook. Just hit the thumbs up. Because this is going to be the best like you ever liked in your whole liking life. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Am I talking to somebody? You talking, prophet? I say this is going to be yes, the best like oh, yeah. you have ever liked hey. in your whole liking life. Yeah. So God says now, He says, tell the people uh, it's time to recognize uh, the person, uh, the God, the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's time now to recognize uh, the presence, uh, the power, the exuberance, uh, the. Counselor, the might of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Am I talking to someone? Yeah. If you are a Christian without the Holy Ghost, you are a struggling Christian. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. If you are a Christian trying to live without the Holy Ghost, you are a weak Christian. May I submit to you tonight? If you are a Christian trying to make it, without the Holy Ghost you are a sick Christian and can I preach tonight if you are a Christian trying to make it without the Holy Ghost you are a pro Christian oh oh am I talking to anybody am I talking hallelujah you talking prophet Hallelujah. Somebody say, I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost in my life. I need the Holy Ghost in my life. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Send your angel armies. Send your angel armies. Holy Ghost. Send your angel armies to fight for me right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone here tonight? Yes, prophet. So, so Jesus now. John is preaching. 
And John is now telling the people, I am the one. I am baptizing you in water. But amen, there's one coming after me that is mightier than I. Oh, he said, he is this one that is coming. Matthew 3 and 11. He said, I baptize you in water. Amen. Unto repentance. But he that is coming after me, praise God, is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not able to loose. But he shall baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire. Yay. Hallelujah. What is he going to baptize you with? Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Say it with expression. Holy Ghost and fire. Yes. He is going to baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire. So John said, I am putting you under water. But this one who is coming after me, he is going to put you under with Holy Ghost and fire. Yeah. And the Bible said now as you go down to verse 12 and verse 13, when John begins to utter these words, then Jesus comes to him in verse 13 and ask him to be baptized yes. and John say are you kidding me he said there's no way I am going to baptize you come on somebody and the Bible said Jesus said to John you got to baptize me so that praise God everything can be fulfilled yes. and after an argument and a discussion between Jesus and John John conceded and put Jesus under the water I'm going somewhere and the Bible said that when Jesus was baptized in Matthew 3 and 16 that he went up straightway out of the water and lower and lower and lower to heavens open come on prophet Oh, Jesus. Somebody say, open heaven. Open heaven. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Open heaven over my life. Holy Ghost. Open heaven over my life. Hallelujah. When Jesus went under the water, came up, what happened? The heavens were open. And the Bible said the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the spirit of God. To set who? The spirit, spirit of, of God. God. Come on. The Holy Ghost. Come on. Is the spirit of yes, God. Yes, yes. The spirit of God. Yes. To sending upon him like a dove. People are you hearing me? Jesus was not prepared to do nothing until Holy Ghost came upon him. Is anyone hearing me today? Heaven is open for business by the power of the Holy Ghost. I wish somebody could get that in their spirit. I say and I prophesy, heaven is open for business by the power of the Holy Ghost. What do you need from heaven? What, what, what? What are you believing God for? What miracle are you asking God for? Because I just told you heaven is open for business and your past is the Holy Ghost. Heaven has opened the business. Yes, yes, yes. And your gate pass is Holy Ghost. If you got him, do you have him? Do you know him? Does he know you? Praise God. Do you know him? Do you have him in your wallet? Do you have him in your life? You see the things people are after have all been frozen. Everything has been locked up. Everything has been locked down. Now your money even will soon have no value in and of itself. But if you have an open heaven over your head, if there's a heaven open over your life and you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you can walk to any door and say, open in the name 
Lord Jesus. Am I talking to you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I talking to you? He said, You don't need no title. You don't need no badge. You don't need no surname. You don't need no hook up in man. Once you got, amen, the Holy Ghost on your life, upon your life, you will walk to any talk.